The first step that I do when threading a bolt for an oversized knob is grind away as much material as possible to prevent damage to my carbide inserts due to the interrupted cut. I usually remove material from the right and left sides as shown. Now, I've seen people use a Dremel or a grinder and a die to thread their bolt knobs, so it is doable, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm using a grinding wheel to save time and carbide inserts on the lathe. Once I'm happy with the amount of material removed, I use a jig made by Pacific Tool & Gauge just for this job. This is a great jig that doesn't stress the braze handle during the cutting and threading process. Whether you're doing this by hand or on the lathe, the goal is to end up with a diameter of 5 sixteenths or .3125. The process is slow due to the odd shape and interrupted cut. After the bolt shank is turned to diameter, I usually file any burrs or high spots down with a file. Some people will face the bolt shank to remove the now diagonal face of the tip. I usually don't do this because I've never found a knob that wouldn't fit because the shank was too long. Some gunsmiths and hobbyists have a die holder that fits directly into their tailstock to allow for dead center threading. Others choose to use a threading tool on their lathe. I generally start my cut on the lathe and then chase the threads with the die to save time. Now this doesn't impact the quality of the threads in any way, but if you're doing this by hand, be absolutely sure that the die is 90 degrees to the shank, otherwise you may end up with poor quality threads. A touch of cold blue on any exposed steel and a drop of blue Loctite on the threads completes the job. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.